To create a new product, start by logging into the admin panel. We're going to go to main products and here you'll see the entire listing of the products within your store. We're going to click add a product and name it. Select the brand, input the code this can be the UPC, SKU, or manufacturer part number. In the product type dropdown, select physical. The value price field shows as the suggested or manufacturing price. and the price that is actually charged to the customer. If the value price and the regular price are the same, the price for the value price will not be crossed out. If the price is different, the value price will show and display next to each other. From the product details view, you'll now see additional inputs corresponding to products. Not all of these fields are required to be filled in. Since we are dealing with a supplement being a physical product, make sure you select the type to physical, the subtype to supplement, and turn the status on if you want this to be available for purchase. The shop visible toggle will display the product in the e-commerce shop portion of our software trial days and LMS third party uh, refer to an integration if we have that enabled. Reward coupon is a field that we have set in here to allow your customers to receive a coupon of your choice by leaving a review in the shop. You can turn this on by simply toggling the send the review email toggle and inputting the delay in days that you'd like the system to send this email post purchase. If your product is set to physical, you also have the shippable toggle allowing you to charge for the shipping and how much. Below this, you'll see the short description and the long description fields that display throughout the shop. The header tab will display content above the product listing and the content tab will display content below the listing on the shopped product page. Every time you make a change to the toggles or any of the fields within the system you must click save Now that you've created your product, you can view the product listing page in the, in the shop. To add an image to the product listing, click on Settings, Assets, Product Images. and you'll see the listing of your product in the shop format. Here is the long description field right below it. The header content tab renders here in this section and the content tab actually displays between the image and the related products shown below. If your product contains subscriptions and rebills you can change these by going to Settings, Subscription Plans, Add a Plan, and this will bring up the Plan Settings panel.
because this is a rebuild, you have the option to send an automated rebuild notification before the payment is due. By default, this is set to disabled, but if you turn this on, you can set the number of days prior to the billing date for this email to get triggered. After that, click Save, and you have created your first recurring plan. There's a toggle button to enable this plan to be shown in the shop listing of your product. You can also edit this by clicking on the edit button. If your product contains a digital asset that goes along with the physical product, you can add this by going to Settings, Assets, Downloadables. Here you can upload files to be accessed through our membership portal to be downloaded along with the purchase of this product. Since our system is automatically tied to your marketing automation, you have the ability to add custom tags when events are fired from our system. For example, if you'd like a custom tag to be applied when this product is purchased so that you can identify from your automation platform, simply go to settings, marketing tags, and you'll bring up the marketing tags window. By default, our system will apply the product tag that you inputted for the code. This can be your UPC, which is the unique identifier for this product. However, if you'd like to rename this, this is where you would do so. This will automatically apply this marketing tag anytime the customer purchases this product from our system from here on out. You can also apply additional tags to help you identify your product in your marketing automation platform.